here again. Really missed you guys. I hope you guys had a good summer. It's been good. I missed you guys at SCC Media Day. I think a few of you made it, but I was looking for the rest of you. You guys must have been vacationing, huh? Okay. All right, good. Fire away. Mark, what was that moment like this morning, just letting the players see that facility finally? It, it was really fun for, for myself and um, for our president and, and athletic director. You know, Dr. Capluto was there, and of course Mitch was there. And it was a lot of fun. You know, I think we all feel uh, very proud and very happy for the players because they've been through a lot. They've worked hard. They're good kids, and uh, we promised them that, a lot of them, when we were rec recruiting them. And to to see it come to fruition and get in there, it's it's surreal, to be honest with you, because it's just been so long. We've been dealing with it for a while. And uh, so it was a lot of fun. And really, when you think about it, I was talking about this with one of the players that was driving him back. I was driving uh, Juice back. You know, he just rode with me back to the complex. And, you know, it's, seen, it's been so long, but yet it happened so quick, really. When we got here and we, we got the funding, we, we got the architects going. It just takes so long to put a building like that up. As you know, it's beautiful. I can't wait for you all to get in there. I think next week tomorrow, tomorrow. or tomorrow, great. Tomorrow. Will you guys get in there tomorrow? I'll come over and say hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but you, you'll see it. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic building. You mentioned promises to those guys when you're recruiting them. You had a big recruiting weekend this past weekend, and, and it's probably been a long time. It seemed like universally those guys get on social media and they're saying, wow, Kentucky's facilities. Yeah. That's not a thing that came out of a lot of guys' mouths for a lot of years. I mean, how – how yeah. big is that element now to not have just uh, you know sketches and drawings, but a building to show? Absolutely critical. I, I, you know, you get tired of you know we've been talking about it for a long time because we talked about the funding and getting the stadium renovated, which we did, and we're proud of that. And then to get this building done, I mean, this is going to help Kentucky football for a long time. And um, it's really fun to walk recruits there, just like you're talking about, instead of showing them sketches and and model makeups and all that stuff. So. Uh, to actually, because that, that's the biggest difference maker. It was for me. I've been part of the design. I've been in there meeting with them quite a bit. And I purposely didn't go in there for a couple weeks. And when I went in there, oh, I, I forget what, one day last week, and I hadn't seen it for a couple weeks, I was really overwhelmed. It was just, it, it was it was incredible. It was a great feeling because it's, you know, when you, when you put all the finishing touches on it and all the graphics and when you put it all together, it's, it's amazing, and it's still not done. You're going to see it tomorrow, but it'll change between the time you see it tomorrow and one week from then. Do you have a favorite part? I, I, I like all of it. I think I feel very comfortable, and the players feel very comfortable in the team room. It's a beautiful setting. It's just it's nice and it, it quiet, and you know we're all alone in there, and I, I just I like the team room. I think it's a really beautiful, and I, I really like the locker room for the players. You know, we really... Uh, geared it for the players. They work extremely hard. You talked about the recruiting piece, and we're very proud and happy uh, that it'll help us in recruiting. But but I'm, I'm probably most happy for our current players because they've been through a lot. They deserve the very best. They work hard, and it'll help in their development. Is there an element of, of you know, look good, feel good, play good type of thing where, where you when you feel like you have the best of the best, you don't feel like you're second rate in any sort of regard? No, no doubt. No doubt about it. And you heard me talk about it. I mean, there's a difference between a climate change in a program and a culture change. And, and we know like some of that in the marketing and the flashy uniforms and all that stuff is important and you want people there. And, but, but that's, you know, that's not who we are. I mean, we're, we're changing the culture and, and that, but it, they deserve the very best. And, and part of that culture is to have the very best. We play in the best league in college football. We compete against the very best. We try to, you know, we recruit against the very best. So uh, we need these type of facilities for our players. And yes, I think it'll make a difference because they do feel good about it because they know um, that that we're committed uh, to giving them the best they can and put them in the best position they can to be successful. Does the head coach have to pack his own stuff in, into boxes to get it moved over? How does that work? No. <laughs> That's one of the perks of the job. Yeah, yeah. We got some people when they're wrapping it up right now. I told them to slow down because mm -hmm. my office won't be done until next Friday. So I mean, I got to work somewhere. Are they? Know, it's time to go. No more vacation here. Are they in there for workouts as of today or tomorrow? No, or? Yeah. they will not be. It's my understanding that I don't think the players will will move into the building until we report. Okay. Yeah, on the fourth. So. Uh, Boom Williams tweeted out about a family tragedy. Is there anything that you guys are doing to sort of get behind him or work with him? Just, of start? course, we work with him and put a lot of support around him. And, uh, you know, we are his home away from home and uh, trying to be very supportive of Boom. He, he's uh, he's handled it the best he can. And uh, he's been good. He's been at 
almost all the workouts. He went home and, and uh, went back for the funeral and for the services and uh, is back at work and uh, we're trying to support him the best we can in a difficult situation. Is it, as a guy who's experienced something like that um, while on a football team, how important is it to go back to such a big extended family to have to not sort of be alone with your thoughts and to have I think you know those, yeah. those teammates I think it's very important it was certainly helpful to me when I lost my father while I was in college and uh, it was good to get right back into a routine and to have a lot of people around you that support you and, and uh, you know want to be there to help you and and, uh, and you feel a, a, a certain amount on yourself to you know not want to let the other guys down too so it makes you kind of pick yourself up and get back to work so very difficult, um, you know. We're just praying, praying for him and his family, but uh, but I think uh, the team definitely has helped him. A couple more, Mark. How's Alex Montgomery's rehab going? Is he going to be ready to play this fall? What is his... it, it's taken some time. He, he's close, but he's not fully recovered just yet. So we have to look at that situation real close in the next week or so to see if he'll be a part of the 105 or if he'll just have to rehab for a while. I think you said at media days you don't want to jinx him with any numbers, but Lonnie over there had some scoop today. That he had somebody saying Matt Elam was down 30 pounds. Is that? Are we in the no, neighborhood I'm there? I'm not going to jinx myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're just a couple pizzas away from going back. Has he has he yeah, lost weight though? I mean, whether you yeah. want to say a oh, number he, or he not. He's definitely I mean, uh, lost weight. Now I'm making light of it, but Matt has worked really hard. I think you all know. I've talked about it several times. I've been very committed to helping him and putting him putting people around him and giving him resources uh, to help educate him and help help him get down. You know, it's not it's not as easy as just say, hey, go run stadiums or run. You know, you have to educate him and help him. And we're putting a, a lot of people around him to help him be successful. And he's worked really hard, and he, he seems very motivated. All right, folks, thank you very much.